she likes to play Words that she doesn't say Not when we're alone and she's dressed in black Here's a picture of a sail She's a picture of the world Please.
have it. That's what going to a Depeche Mode concert in 2023 is like. So yeah, uh, I wasn't able to make a video on my way up or my way back because I was driving and there was a lot of traffic on the way up and then, you know, there's a lot of uh, chaos as everyone's spilling out of the arena uh, when I was leaving. So I wanted to collate my thoughts and uh, just provide some uh, commentary on the experience. So yeah, ultimately the only other time I saw them, it was a long time ago, it was early 2006 on tour for their 2005 album Playing the Angel. And as you would have seen, they played my favorite track from that album, Precious. And yeah, ultimately, some of the tunes that I heard at that show were also played here at this show, although I was happy that there, was a, there wasn't too much overlap. Um, Never Let Me Down Again, um, I want to say Walking in My Shoes, um, but there was, again, a number of tunes that they played at that earlier show that they didn't play here. So I enjoyed that variety, but the handful of tunes that were played at both shows, I noticed that the sound of them is now different. And again, I've heard different opinions about that. I know some friends of the channel are not fond of the way they've replaced uh, drum machines with a live drummer. I didn't mind that so much in this experience. There were a couple tracks where I feel like it was more noticeable than others. Uh, but the drummer was definitely, you know, proficient and there were tunes where he ended the track with like these crazy drum rolls and um, You know adding some bits on to the track not just you know playing the parts that <clears throat> The drum machines did in the original so again I didn't mind the different configuration even if it's sort of like more like electro rock versions of some of the earlier synth pop tunes but again, they played a track um, from uh, Speak and Spell, they played a track from, uh, whatchamacallit, Construction Time again, and indeed, more on that in a minute. Um, they played multiple tracks from Black Celebration, I've mentioned it before, arguably my favorite uh, Depeche Mode album, or at least one that always comes up when I think of my favorites. They played uh, music from The Masses, um, again, they played a track at least from... Um, uh, playing the Angel, multiple tunes from uh, Ultra, they played uh, In My Room from uh, Songs and Faith of Devotion, I Feel You from Songs of... I mean, they were all over their catalog, with maybe uh, the exception of Delta Machine and Sounds of the Universe, which I know there's a lot of people who are not overly fond of those albums. Um, same with Exciter, I get it. Um, I do have preferences for their albums, but as I've said all along, I'm here for everything Depeche Mode, and this uh, concert just reinforce that feeling and you know as the concert went along I was feeling more nostalgic more emotional especially when some of their older tunes would start up and hearing all the other people in the the crowd and admittedly I was in a pretty like raucous section as you can see I was sort of up in the nosebleeds although it's funny I was in the nosebleeds at Staples Center as it was called then back in 06 and that felt a lot farther away from the stage. I was very high up at this concert, but it still felt like the stage was reasonably close. So um, yeah, I enjoyed where I sat and there were a lot of people who were big fans. And what I noticed among the crowd, there were some people who were sort of, you know, in my range, like early 40s up to 50, that sort of range. There were definitely some people older, um, you know, people, uh, you know, 60 plus or so, but there were a lot of young people too, and like people in their 20s that were like rocking out for some of the old tunes, and that inspires me. That is like, hey, those are people who are exploring catalogs. Those are people who like found something they liked and like, hey, I'm going to get the full story, even though this started before I was around. Um, so yeah, it was cool to see the variety of Depeche fans and to hear people like singing loudly all the tunes, which I get it, like sometimes, you know, maybe that's not always appreciated because it like, you know, if people are really loud in your section, it can sort of drown out the actual music. Bottom line, I just felt like it was part of this like big celebration of Depeche Mode and, you know, I don't know if I'll get a chance to see him again. So the whole time I was watching, I was sort of like, you know, I'm going to just, you know, take in every moment of this, although there is an asterisk to that. Uh, and the asterisk is, uh, it seemed like for all the world, Never Let Me Down Again was going to be their last tune. And when I saw them in 05, it was their closing track, the final of their fifth um, or five encores. Here, they only did one encore, but they played multiple, I was going to say many or multiple, and I just extended the M. But uh, they played multiple songs in a single encore. And as I said, as Never Let Me Down was playing out, it's just the way like Dave was walking to the front and so on, I felt like it was going to be the end. So I started making my way down again, you know, getting out of events like that is always chaotic. 
So then they were like, yeah, thank you. You know, and so I'm like walking out and right as I'm getting near the edge of the door, I hear people are people start up. It was like, oh my God. And I had already put away like my phone. I had already, you know, packed up my shirt and like, you know, I was basically, I turned around and was able to like experience it, but I couldn't like capture it. So there is a missing track from the concert and that is people are people. So I do apologize. Um, but seriously, like, Dave was very funny, like, I, I didn't capture a lot of it. There's some of his spinning and swerving that I captured, but there were multiple times where, like, you know, I was trying to, at the end of the measure, like, I'd end the video for that song, and then I'd wait for, like, you know, the next song and try to capture a good part of it. But there were multiple times where right after I ended a video, Dave would just embark on this crazy dancing across the stage bit, and it was like, oh, crap, am I, like, ah, uh, you know, I'm, like, it's... I'm not gonna be able to catch it because you know he'll do them in like 10, 15 second spurts. Um, so for as much spinning as you may have seen, there was a lot more spinning that happened. But he was really funny. Like not only you know there were a couple moments where he was like getting the crowd into it, and he was sort of like you know he's playing up to them, and there were people in the front um, that were super into it, and like one lady was trying to like hand him this crown. Um, but there was a part where Martin did two of his songs in a row, and he was sort of really isolated at the front of the stage. He didn't play somebody, which I thought he would, but. Um, yeah, he was in the front of the stage and, uh, Dave was sort of like way back in the wings, like just in the dark, like not even visible. So then after the second of the two, Dave kind of saunters back out and he looks at Martin. He's like, well, 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 the angel voiced, uh, Martin Gore, everybody. And just the way he said it was hilarious. I absolutely loved it. And at the end of, or near the end of never let me down again, which is why this is one of the reasons I thought it was over. Dave and Martin kind of looked at each other and they sort of walked over and they gave each other like a big sort of like meaningful hug and like everyone was like yeah you know it was just a really cool moment and I was like okay this is you know this is beautiful that tells me this is probably the last track so I started walking out so that's on me that's my fault but I did still get to hear people are people so either way an incredible experience um just you know shout out to Depeche Mode uh there was a point where they had I forget what song it was it I, it's in my video you probably know in this moment even though I don't but there was a song where they had Andy's face you know maybe like a late 30s um Andy that was just on the screen for the whole song and at the end of the song they were you know like um I forget exactly what they said but it was something like you know um massive thanks to or tribute to um you know our late colleague andy fletcher so i thought that was a really nice moment too so r.i.p to andy big shout out to dave and martin who put on a damn good show and dave like again i'm just impressed that his energy you know i've been watching the documentaries of him when he's you know 19 20 22 um dancing about the stage and it's like you know he still does it he still you know has that energy he still has that showmanship like stage presence and martin I, you know i've heard different people talk about like people who are super fans of martin and there were definitely some people there like when he did those two solo songs like in between the two and that brief pause between the first one and the second one there was someone like near me a shout out like i love you martin and like a whole bunch of people in my section like you know shouted and like cheered very loudly so again it's clear that like both members of the band um, have their fans that are particularly um, fond of um, the way they do things. So, yeah, shout out to Depeche Mode. Shout out to all the people who were, you know, interested that I was going to this concert and who will no doubt comment. Um, it means a lot that one of the bands that I've listened to my whole life, um, I've become more knowledgeable about them through other people, and other people who have joined this channel have taken my appreciation for a group I've always known to just this, you know, a new category so that by the time I go to this show what I take away from it is enhanced relative to what it would have been had I just gone and if I wasn't doing YouTube videos so you guys all rock too is what I'm saying uh, so yeah bottom line thank you for everything uh, shout out to Depeche Mode let me know what you think of the video I will see you next time peace